Okay, so bullfighting is coming back to Mexico after a two-year hiatus. Uh, that hiatus couldn't have been long enough, if you ask me. This is a disgusting thing. I hate it. I hate watching these guys stab bulls. Bullshit. Bull, um, the bulls probably do shit. Um, sadly enough. Ugh, awful. I can't believe I say stuff like this. It's just stop me. I'm going to read this article from CNN. This is CNN World. <coughs> Garbage. But uh, let's see what they have to say. Return of bullfighting met by protests in Mexico City. Animal rights activists took to the streets of Mexico City on Sunday to protest the return of bullfighting to the capital after almost two years. Torture is not art. It is not culture. And yes to bulls, not to bullfighting. We're among the chants heard near Plaza, Mexico. A 42,000 capacity bull ring thought to be the largest in the world. Oh, that's awful. 42,000 people to watch that shit. Mexican animal rights group, I passed them, posted a series of videos on, on the protests on X, including one highlighting that the torture of innocent living beings is about to start. The bullfight was the first in almost two years, according to the Plaza Mexico Facebook account, which celebrated the return of the bulls in a series of posts. Bullfighting is more alive than ever, and our fans are making the most of, a, of an enjoyable family, excuse me, family atmosphere. That's kind of hilarious. An enjoyable family atmosphere. Hey, kids, what do you want to do on Saturday? Let's go watch bulls get stabbed to death. Oh, yeah, cool. That sounds good. What a family outing. Uh, bullfighting was suspended in 2022 as part of a long-running legal case. Oh, by the way, you're lucky I didn't throw a, a bad Mexican accent in there. I thought about it, but then I thought differently of it. Uh, but in de December, Mexico's Supreme Court ruled that the events could take place once more, according to Reuters. Six bulls were fought during Sunday's event, aww, during which the ring was emblazoned with the word uh, libertad, freedom in, in Spanish. So obviously six bulls were, were fought and six bulls died. That's rough. Uh, hopefully people are at least eating them. Once the gates of the bull ring, riot police lined the streets as black-clad protesters tried to break through fences and shouted at attendees in front of walls spray-painted with anti-bullfighting slogans. Bullfighting fighting has taken place in Mexico for centuries, but in recent years, opposition to the practice has grown. 2013, Sonora State became the first of Mexico's 32 states to ban bullfighting, and a total of four states have now done so. In December, President uh, Lopez, or whatever, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, is that really, is that two people or is that one person? Said it, he would explore the possibility of holding a referendum on the future of bullfighting in the Mexican capital. Seven other countries around the world also hold bullfights. Ecuador, Spain, Colombia, France, Peru, Portugal, and Venezuela. I didn't know France and Portugal, to be honest. That is a surprise to me. I knew all the all South America. I didn't know. Portugal I can see because it's, you know, a lot of the Portuguese down in the uh, in uh, South America. But France, that, was, that one, that's surprising. Uh, uh, what do you think about this? This is awful. This bullfighting, I, we're in 2024. I have to think about it sometimes. Is bullfighting still a thing? Are bulls still a problem? Are we are we still needing to you know sort up and get them? Man, you think they'd learn the vulnerabilities of the red flag? Stop following the damn red flag. You know, come on. You know, just it's it leads to a sword. Ugh, hopefully this thing goes away. This is awful. 